We are back in Switzerland, <laughs> in Zurich. Now we're going to visit the biggest climbing and bouldering gym in the entire Europe. Look at this massive place. So let's climb. This is how we get ready for starting. Basically warm up. So we are ready for this wall. 18 meters they are. Gym is called Gaswork and it's located in Zurich. It's the largest indoor climbing gym in Europe. You can enter either as a club member or by purchasing a day pass. Prior experience with either top rope or lead climbing is necessary. At Gaswork you can enjoy not only climbing but also have a cup of coffee and purchase all the gear you need. Additionally, you can practice bouldering, a different type of climbing, without ropes. Here you might remember my friend Nicolas from my previous videos about Via Ferrata and hiking in Switzerland. Yeah, this is my friend. Niklas is an experienced climber who has taught me both top rope climbing and lead climbing techniques in order to do these beautiful videos. Let's say you are like me. We are pretty new to climbing, so the easiest technique and the first one you have to learn is called top rope climbing. In this method, the rope is already anchored at the top of the root and this will be providing you the safety you need in case you fall. The belayer, the guy who is below you, will be your partner on the ground and if you fell, all the weight is going to be taken by him. On the other hand, lead climbing is a little bit more difficult and involves ascending the route while clipping the rope into different points along the way. This technique is more advanced and requires you to manage rope slack, choose the best route and accept that potentially the fall will be longer. So let's take a look of an example of some of the climbing I did that day. The first one is top rope climbing. As you can see, the rope is already placed before I started. So I have Nico as a belayer. He's taking my weight. So it's easier to rest or recover during the route. It's much recommended if you're going to start doing climbing because it's going to be safer if we compare this method to lead climbing. But now, Let's switch to lead climbing. I also tried this one. As you can see, it's much more technical. And I was quite tired too. However, I'm carrying the rope and I need to climb it into the protection points. And if I fall, I will only go as far as the last protection point I clipped into. This technique requires much more practice and experience. Um, Also, in the description box below, I will provide you links of helpful videos that will explain both of the techniques, so you can dig into them more and start learning. 